The role of Jack Reacher was played by Tom Cruise in two films, but the character's capacity was recognized and Amazon Prime decided to develop a Reacher series that would offer the character more to do and expand his world. According to reports, the show not only had tremendous action, but also good characters. And as a result, it will be renewed for a second season. Join us in this video as we share to you all the details we know about Reacher's upcoming season two. Renewal on Amazon. As of now, Reacher has been renewed for a second season by Amazon. On February 4th, the action thriller series premiered on the streaming service. It is based on Lee Child's Jack Reacher novel series. The first season is based on Killing Floor, the series' first novel, which was published in 1997. The show is already one of Amazon's top five most watched shows of all time, though it's worth noting that the company doesn't reveal audience figures. Another point worth mentioning is that this is yet another success for Amazon Prime Video, which didn't appear to have much going for it when it was first introduced. Things are looking better for it thanks to the success of Reacher, certain movies they've created, and of course, The Boys, which is getting a third season soon, and additional shows like Reacher could be in the works as a result. With all this, we can definitely see Amazon's success. Reacher's release date. The series adaptation of Lee Child's best-selling Jack Reacher novel starring Alan Richson will launch on Friday, February 4th, 2022, according to Amazon Prime Video. It also debuted the series' first trailer, which features Richson as a gigantic ex-military police investigator who aids those in need. As the filming for season one took place in a rough time frame of five months, between mid-April to late July, it's easy to assume the second season will follow a similar pattern of production and release. Based on Amazon Prime's release schedule, having a year or two gap between each season of their shows, it would be reasonable to predict that Reacher Season 2 could land around mid to late 2023 or early 2024. In more than 240 countries and territories, all eight episodes of the Amazon original series first season will be released on the same day. So you don't have to worry about spoiler alerts when talking about the series with your friends across the pond or in Far East Asia. Cast Originally titled Jack Reacher, the series is now just known as Reacher. In addition, Tom Cruise previously played Jack Reacher in the Paramount Pictures films Jack Reacher in 2012 and Jack Reacher Never Go Back in 2016. When it came time for Amazon to produce a television adaptation of the film, they went with an actor that looked more like the character who stands six foot five and weighs 240 pounds. As a result, Alan Richson, who played Hank Hall, Hawk on DC's Titans, is an ideal choice. The first big casting news for Reacher was revealed by Deadline in September 2020. Alan Richson has been cast as the new Jack Reacher, succeeding Tom Cruise in the role. Richson is a talented actor, but he's generally been cast in very stereotypical parts in which he gets to play the attractive, athletic hero who saves the day. You may recognize Richson from films like the Hunger Games, Catching Fire, the 2014 live action of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and the DC TV series, Titans. But in this TV series, he will have the chance to prove himself as a leading man in his own rising TV show. Definitely something to look forward to. In June 2021, more cast members were announced for the Reacher TV show. Mark Ben David will be playing as Hubble, an accountant involved in nefarious business operations. Charlie is played by Kristen Crook, a tougher-than-she-looks former debutante who also happens to be Hubble's wife. Jasper, the medical examiner who is distributed by the succession of murders in town, will be played by Harvey Guillen from What We Do in the Shadows. Mosley, the village barber who becomes Reacher's ally, will be played by Willie C. Carpenter. Curry Graham, who will be playing Kilner Sr., a local businessman who saved Margrave from disaster, but also has a darker side. Willa Fitzgerald is best known for directing MTV's Scream remake and USA's 2020 thriller, Dare Me, in addition to memorable parts in shows like Royal Pains and PBS's 2017 Little Women adaptation. However, it's possible that her involvement in Reacher will outshine all that came before it. She'll play Roscoe Conklin, a character from the novel in the new show who may or may not have been named after the 19th century politician Roscoe Conkling. 
Roscoe, played by Fitzgerald, is a native of the show's location. Margrave, Georgia, where she is a smart and confident police officer who isn't easily frightened, alternatively at all. Malcolm Goodwin, an actor and aspiring director, played the practical Seattle detective Clive Babineau for five seasons, and he'll be reprising his role as a fictitious cop for Reacher. Oscar Finley, a fresh recruit to the Margrave Police Department, will be played by Goodwin in the new project. Oscar, who grew up in the North and has had a Harvard degree to go along with his particular flair, may not be happy with the scenario. Chris Webster played a major adversary in Liam Hemsworth thriller Most Dangerous Game, and it looks like his new streaming TV character may have morals that are just as dubious. Webster will play KJ, the son of Margrave benefactor and self-made businessman Kleiner in Reacher. Because of his father's authority, KJ believes that the town and its residents, particularly Roscoe, are his property. I believe we can all predict that it will go horribly for KJ, albeit not before Roscoe suffers a setback or two. Also, a younger version of Reacher will be played by Maxwell Jenkins from Lost in Space. Now, before we get into more details, let's do a short recap on how season one ended. Heads up, spoiler ahead, Joe Reacher was killed in the last episode to allow the counterfeiting scheme he was trying to thwart to continue. The chief of police, the mayor, and Kleiner Jr. were all named as suspects in this crime, with the latter firing the deadly shots. The counterfeiting operation of the Kleiner Foundation involved wiping the ink off $1 bills and recreating them as $100 bills. When Joe attempted to block their access to the original banknotes, he was assassinated by those who profited from the scam. This also clarified a few plot holes that had arisen over the series. What about the pollution in Chester? The product of chemical runoff during the bill erasing process. What was it about animal feed that made Jack Reacher so obsessed? A method of absorbing these substances, Reacher had assassinated the scheme's main players and set fire to the counterfeiting warehouse by the end of the season. Margrave's difficulties appear to be gone now that the mystery of Joe's death and the counterfeiting has been solved implying that the ever-wandering Jack Reacher will be in a different town for season two. The first season was based on the first Reacher novel, Killing Floor. Season two will be based on the child's second novel, Die Trying, if the release order of the novels is followed. The action takes place in a Chicago suburb where Jack Reacher is kidnapped along with a woman at a dry cleaning service and must find a way out. This woman is Holly Johnson, who Reacher learns is an FBI agent in the books and goddaughter of the president. The Amazon show may decide to preserve this character, or it may choose to replace her with either Roscoe or Negley. Plot Jack Reacher, an accomplished military police detective who has recently converted to civilian life, is a wanderer who crosses the country with no phone and only the bare needs as he discovers the location where he previously served. When Reacher arrives in Margrave, Georgia, he finds a town in the midst of its first homicide in 20 years. Eyewitnesses claim to have seen Reacher at the crime scene, and the cops grab him right away. A deep-seated plot unfolds as Reacher strives to prove his innocence using Reacher's quick mind and hard-hitting fist to unravel. One thing is certain, they choose the wrong person to take the fall. As previously stated, the first season of the Jack Reacher TV series will be based on Lee Child's very first Reacher novel, Killing Floor. Thus, the basic narrative will not be a surprise. For those of you who haven't read it, the book follows the huge man as he hops off a Greyhound bus in a little Georgia town, only to be wrongly accused for murder very shortly thereafter. Not only does Reacher have to free himself, but he also has to bust a counterfeiting organization and put a stop to a particularly nefarious piece of work. Well, that's it. That's a wrap. What are your thoughts about Reacher and what season one did and how season two will likely go? What were some of your favorite moments from it? What are your expectations or theories for the upcoming season two of the show? Let us know in the comments below and we'll see you next time on the channel.